Hello there and welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. We have a mid-season matchup of two teams that have earned top 25 rankings. So a good test for both teams with playoff implications on the line. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Iowa Hawkeyes taking on the winners of four straight, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. And the Hawkeyes will kick this deep to get us going. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. So the Ohio State Buckeyes offense will get the first swing today. And here comes the tight end who's having such a great season. Kirk, you talk to opponents and they always use the same phrase, matchup nightmare, this guy. Well, what stands out to me with this guy is it's not very often, you're right, the defensive coordinators are most concerned about a tight end. But in this case, that is exactly what we're dealing with. This guy can hurt you in so many different ways. Offense was set up on first and 10. We'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Cut quickly. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, but you can take advantage of it. The completion makes it second down. Looking to pass, it's Howard. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no flag, brings up third down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. What guys will line up to punt it away? Oh, and it lands at the four and bounces in for a touchback. So the Iowa Hawkeyes offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players just a few guys. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. I mean, that's just being a difference maker up front. You look at that uniform, you think over the years with Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, and Chase Young, and so many great defensive linemen. And this guy right here is showing you he's got some of the similar skill set as some of those greats. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. Potential disaster here. Defense falls on the ball. Crucial takeaway. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the defense joins the party with a score. That's a scoop and score. Defense making a monster play there. Well, his eyes must have gotten so big when he saw that ball pop out. Chance to pounce on it. And instead of doing it the more conservative way and just falling on it, he decides to take it to the house for a touchdown. Something he'll remember for the rest of his career. He manages the footing and the extra point is up and good. Now they get set to kick it away. And a misfire there on the kickoff as it goes out of bounds. Free kick Free out of bounds. Out of bounds. Kicking, kicking team. team. Mistake by the kicker, and the offense will set up now at the 40. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Hand off in a single back formation. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards, sets up a nice second and two. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice solid game. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. It's pulled in completion on a diving catch. 
They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Running back grabs it on a screen. Defense makes the tackle, but that screen produces a pretty solid game. And the completion makes it second and short. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Nowhere to go, the ball knocked loose. They're going to get the ball back, but it could still be a drive killer. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Using his legs here. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. The Hawkeyes will have to kick it away. And he should be able to pin them back deep here with his first punt. Oh, it lands just short of the goal line that bounces in for a touchback. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Great move in the open field. They bring it down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. If the game moves the ball to the 39, it'll be first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Running out of time in the pocket. Got him. He's sacked. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. Tipped and then drops. Chance to make a play, but he said it's third down. See if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. Tries to get it to the running back. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. So a great return following the pick. They're finally able to get him down. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. And the pass is complete to the tight end. Run down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Caught near the goal line. Run down at the two after the catch. The offense close to punching it in. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. And third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. So they're short on fourth down. The coach decides to trot out the field goal team. He knocks this one right through. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And he'll bring it out from inside the tent. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. They bring him down, but that's good work by the return team. He found the lane. And so this drive's going to start with decent field position. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Trucks through the defender. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. It's a quick grab. Here's the second down play. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Buckeyes come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And the tackle is made. The screen pass there produces a solid game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. To the air. It's Howard. And the ball is picked off. Going the other way, can they stop him? And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. What a play by the defensive back here. You have no idea how tough it can be and how slippery it is out there with this rain. The defense is reacting to the offense. The offense knows exactly where they're going when they're running their route. The defender has to try to be very careful to keep his foot underneath him. Sounds simple, but it's not. They come up with that interception while doing that, and that is a big-time play. They give it to the receiver on a jet sweep. The ball is loose. And the defense jumps on the football. 
Everybody loves a jet sweep until the play gets blown up and the result is a turnover. And on this play, give credit to the opportunistic defense for creating some chaos and coming up to the ball. On the run, it's Henderson. Just a small game, looking at second and nine. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. They'll try to run for the first down, and he will be stuffed for no gain. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. The distance will be from 36 yards away. So we'll start the second quarter here with a field goal attempt as they line up. No problem. Knocks it right through. Snap. The hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. A fumble the last possession only led to a field goal. Can they shake off that mistake and get it going here? They're going to run it here. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Important second down play coming up. We'll give it to the running back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Running back has it on a screen now. He's brought down just short of the marker on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. And the Hawkeyes will line up to kick it away. Look at to kick it away for the second time. And that sets up a return. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid game in return. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. They've got the lead, but hadn't settled for a field goal last time out. They'd love to find the end zone here. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held just at two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. And they're finally able to stop him. A great execution on the screen pass. Fooled the defense there. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? He's running out of time here. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. The offense will look to regroup here at second and 11. Looking to throw. It's Howard. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. There's a shot toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, it makes it pretty simple. All you have to do is get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. We can have put together a positive drive here. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. And they'll stop him after a short game. Second down play coming up. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. 
Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Goes to his right side there for the completion. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. A new set of downs after that completion. Here comes a handoff. Five-yard gain, so it's second and five. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. Incomplete. They cannot connect on the deep ball. Boy, this quarterback has a lot of confidence in his arm. He tried to thread the needle into double coverage. Lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Short connection to the tight end here. And he's tackled just short of that first down marker. Good job by the defense. The Hawkeyes will line up to punt it away. See if he can make something happen with the return. And he's going to head out of bounds, but not before picking up some good yardage on the return. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The game makes it second and medium. And the wideout goes in motion. Scanning the field, it's Howard. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Zero running room, stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Well, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. On first down, it's play action. Grab down the middle. It's Scott. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Good enough for first down yardage. You know, Chris, what a great run here. You think about Ohio State, you think lately about those NFL-ready wide receivers, but we all know it starts with their running games, all those great backs they've had over the years. They'll run it from the gun. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Off the play fake on first down. Sides a quick throw. That's a quick tackle, but they pick up solid yardage on that short throw. We reached the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. Looking for some space. It's Henderson. The Buckeyes pick up first down yards to keep the drive going. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Dropping back. It's Howard. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball to the six. Defense getting pushed back. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Bringing pressure. Caught over the middle, it's Henderson. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Coming up. 
the offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Ohio State. So with only a few seconds Number left in the half, out comes the field goal unit. And it's good. And those three points will finish off the first half and then take us to halftime. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. And it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. Buckeyes will kick this away to start the second half. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Receiver makes the grab. The reception nets about seven yards with fourth down coming up here. And the Hawkeyes will bring the punt team on the field. Back out to punt for the fourth time today. We'll see what he can do with the return. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. Can he make it? They can't catch him. Touchdown. Well, Kirk, we knew this guy was a dangerous returner. Took the football and just knifed through that coverage team. You know, a lot of times we talk about vision. Usually we're talking about running backs trying to find a lane. But returners need to have that as well. And you saw how great vision allows this returner to kind of weave his way through the defenders for a touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and will bring the football to the 25-yard line. Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Goes backwards, losing three yards there. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 22. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Runner has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Throws to the tight end. Throws a fastball, but it's intercepted. Not much on the return, but that's an important takeaway. Sets up the offense at the 34. Excellent field position here for the offense. First down, looking to throw the ball. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. They're going to run it. Back gets the carry. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the route is on. We talk about a tough matchup for this defense down in this area. What are you going to do? The quarterback puts it up in the air, and the big tight end goes over top of everybody for the touchdown. And they tack on the extra point. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. 
Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Oh, the pass is picked off. He's got some room and some blockers here. And he steps out after a nice return. What a momentum shift this could be. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the junior gets home making a sack there. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers, and don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a the game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. And the ball is knocked loose. Who's got it? Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. This offense just blew an opportunity. Have a nice lead here in the second half with the football. The last thing you want to do is turn it over, and they put the ball on the ground and now give your opponent a chance to get right back in this game. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Back to pass. It's McNamara. And he throws his third interception of the day. And that's a solid return after the interception. But this defense is doing an outstanding job of baiting this quarterback into throwing the ball into coverage. That's their third interception now in the game. They're looking to set up a screen pass here. And they'll bring him down. The defense fought through the blocks and stop him short of the first down. The Buckeyes looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Defense is coming after him. Grab down the middle. It's Scott. Tackle at the eight after the completion. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. To stretch the lead, the route is on. That's another passing strike from his quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now, it is not working. And they get set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. This drive is important. The last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Nowhere to run up the middle. It's an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fix, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there, big versus big. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth, but they can't convert this third down. And he lobs it deep down the middle. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. The Hawkeyes will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today.
And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the first play of the drive now from the 25. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up in front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. So here we go. They're going to go for it on fourth and inches in their own territory. He's found some room with the 45. And he breaks clear down the right side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Ohio State. And this one is getting ugly. What a long run for the touchdown. Oh, if this defense was caught sleeping or walking in mud, I can't pick which one. Maybe it's both because the running back just went right by them so easily for the big game and a big time score. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team on the field now is in. It's set to send this one away. So no return here. He takes him in the end zone and they'll begin the drive at the 25. Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Looking for his big tight end. Catch made on the right side. That's a big gain. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. First down here for this offense. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. And the pass rush has trapped him into sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. Running back grabs it on a screen, and he's brought down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers, but he stopped short of the first down. So the ball at midfield, and now the offense facing a third and long. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. And the Hawkeyes will send their punt team on the field. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. Ball lands right at the one-yard line and bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. They'll tackle him at the 27. Second down after that run on the previous play. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. Just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. And as we take a break, take a quick look at how the national rankings stack up and then chase for those playoff positions. Let's see if a comeback is in store here as we start the fourth quarter. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Can he make it to the marker? Tackle made at the 41. It's a nice game. They're getting closer to the 50. The Buckeyes getting set on first and 10. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Solid run. Tackled at the 45-yard line. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. They stop him, but it's a first down. Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. And the single back takes the handoff. The gain is three yards, so second on seven. The hey, defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. 
He'll hand it off. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first down. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. He hands it off from the gun. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Now play number nine on this drive. Chris, that's another good run for him. He's had such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Catch May, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short gain. Trying to make it three straight. Third down and conversion. They need a yard here. Try and muscle for the first down. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Trying to run it, it's Henderson. Plays bottled up and the football is loose. Looks like the offense able to recover it there. Wow, that is big time awareness by his teammate to get on top of that football. As a result, they catch a break and are able to retain possession. And they've got him at the four, but a big gain on that catch and run. Chris, another accurate throw by this quarterback, and this guy has just been on fire all game long, over 200 yards. Touchdown, Buckeyes! Stretching the lead, this one is getting ugly. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the return an opportunity to bring this back. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. First down, looking to throw the football. It's a short completion of the tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. Second down after that short completion. Looking to throw, it's Sullivan. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. But we just continue to see this defense make great plays, especially with their tackling. And the awareness to understand we're in the fourth quarter, you're trying to keep this offense inbounds so they keep that clock moving. Makes a quick catch. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw it again. Looking for his back. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. They're finally able to stop, and the quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. And he'll drop back here on third down. Down he goes. A sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. The last possession was this old-school power football. Let's see if they can keep that going here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because, you know, the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job here by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. 
And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Going to try to use his legs here. He went for it, and he gets it on the scramble. That is deflating for this defense. The Buckeyes with first and ten here. Hand off as he try to work the clock here. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with me. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. Incomplete, he was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. The Buckeyes will have to punt this one away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. It's been a rough game for this offense. A consolation touchdown is all they're playing for at this point. The pass rush closing in. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. This defense has been lights out today. Great job once again applying pressure on this quarterback. This poor quarterback, he doesn't know what he has seen today. Not able to get anything going to be able to try to compete in this game. They're down big, and now they're just hoping for that clock to run out. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And it's complete downfield. They finally get him down. That's a big gain there to end the game. But the clock runs out, and he falls short. Well, frankly, Kirk, we hope for games that are a little bit more suspenseful. This one got out of hand early, ended up being a rout. That's putting it nicely, Chris, right? This was a complete blowout. A solid performance in all areas by this team. Their coaches should be proud of how they looked out there today. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.